we're going to try with solving for different variables in this equation. So, so far in your packet, numbers 1, 3, and 5 all had to do with solving for energy, or the Q part of the equation. Sometimes you have to solve for other variables. When you're solving for these variables, you also need to make sure that all of your units are consistent so that they will cancel out correctly. So let's try with um, doing in your packet number six together. So let's review first what each of these variables mean. In your head, can you say them? What Q, C, M, and delta T mean? Well, hopefully you've already identified that Q is energy. C is specific heat capacity. It's a a constant that you have to look up or solve for. M is mass and delta T is change in temperature. So we're going to be constantly referring to this equation throughout these problems. So number six in your note packet refers to the enthalpy of one gram of substance increasing by 508 joules when it's heated by 20 degrees Celsius. So we're going to fill in our variables. Q, C, M, and delta T. So it says if the enthalpy of one gram of a substance, so that's going to be our mass, one gram, increases by 508 joules, that's going to be our energy, now you might say, how did I know that that was the energy? Well, one way is by the units. Energy is always going to have units of joules, kilojoules, calories, or some derivative of those units. Mass is always going to have grams or kilograms. And finally, it asks what, or it says it's heated by 20 degrees Celsius. So that's going to be the change in temperature. And finally, it asks what is its specific heat capacity. So as long as we're only missing one of those variables, we can easily solve for this value. So we're going to check all of our units. We have an energy unit, a mass unit, and a temperature unit. And we're going to be solving for C. So we're going to use our equation. 508 joules equals C, because that's what we need to find out, times one gram times 20 degrees Celsius. So we need to rearrange this equation so that C is by itself. So we will divide both sides of the equation by 1 gram and 20 degrees Celsius. If it's easier for you to multiply this first and then divide, that's fine as well. So finally, our C equals 508 joules divided by 1 gram and 20 degrees Celsius. So we're just going to put the numerical values in our calculator. 508 divided by 1 divided by 20. And you get 25.4 joules per gram times degrees Celsius. That is an extremely large number for specific heat capacity. This must be a, a substance that's specifically designed um, to have high specific heat capacities, such as an insulator or something of that sort. So we're, in this case, we solve for specific heat capacity. Um, let's try another problem where we're going to see different variable or different units that we're going to have to convert.